everyone, I'm Morgan and today I wanted to share with you the books I bought in May and the ones I got out from the library. So let's start with the ones I got out from the library. So the first books I got out from the library are the third, fourth and fifth book in the Harry Potter series. I don't actually own them so uh, I wanted to reread them so I got, out, got, I got them out from the library. I want to own them eventually, but uh, uh, the only edition that I'm actually interested in isn't uh, available new anymore. So I'm trying to find that edition in a good condition, but um, I haven't been so lucky so far. But I've already reread the third one uh, yesterday, and it was really great. I've just I haven't reread them in like six years or something, so. It was long overdue. Then other books that I got out from the library, I have a few. So I got out um, Matilda by Roald Dahl. Uh, I used to read Roald Dahl when I was a kid. I haven't re uh, read or reread them in a very long time and in my memory this was the one that I used to read the most. So we'll see if I still enjoy it. The next book I got out from the library because I already know the author and that is um, Loa Kishishke. This one is In a Perfect World. Um, I have read Mine of Winter by her and The Raising. I really enjoyed Mine of Winter. It was a really short book and The Raising I was a little bit, a little bit on the fence about. The thing is with this author I'm wondering if she's a little bit racist or something because she always describes um, beautiful women as having very white porcelain skin and also being very thin and young and anyone that doesn't fit those criteria ends up like having problems in the books so I'm wondering if this one will have the same elements I'm hoping it won't but this one is dystopia, the other ones were more like contemporary but with some mystery elements sometimes and um, some specula speculative elements, so we'll see. Then I got out from the library High Fidelity by Nick Hornby. I wanted to read this one because it's on the Rory Gilmore reading list and the Gilmore Girls, uh, Gilmore Girls is one of my favorite TV show ever. Um, I don't know anything about this one but I hear about it a lot, even on book two. Um, it's like kind of a classic, like a modern classic, I think. We'll see what I think of it. Then I got out from the library on Chesil Beach by Ian McEwen. Uh, I've been really wanting to try this author and I've heard this one is really good plus it's extremely short like uh, a bit more than a hundred pages so I'll be able to get to this one quick. Then the next book I got out from the library because I kept seeing it a few years ago on Book Depository when uh, it was like half price but um, I never picked it up. I was always really uh, intrigued by it and that is The Coincidence Authority by John Ironmonger. I know nothing about this book, I never knew anything almost uh, going into books so sorry but um, apparently I think this is literary fiction. I enjoy literary fiction and I just I really like this cover for some reason so maybe it will be good. Then I got out from the library Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward. I've heard great things about this author and I've heard good things about this book in particular from um, a channel that doesn't really make videos anymore called um, uh, Scribbles Reads. I used to really like that channel and she talked about Jasmine Ward a lot so I wanted to try her. Then into the books that I bought in May. So I haven't made a book haul in quite a while because I just I don't buy that many books every month especially lately because I've been trying to uh, read all the books that I have 
but I have bought quite a few this month so far, eight that I will, I will share with you and I'm not planning on buying anything uh, after that. So the first three I bought this month are ones that I've been just really interested in for quite a while, some uh, for like years. And so, especially that first one, so that is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Neffenegger. I have been interested in this book ever since it came out, like more than 10 years ago, I think. Uh, mostly because it's about time travel and I'm just very, very, very interested in time travel. Um, and I've already, I've always heard great things about this book, so I hope I will enjoy it. Then. Another book I picked up used um, is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I really like Tori's channel from the channel Tony Moro. Um, I feel like we both have very, very similar tastes and this is one of her favorite books. So it, I was really inclined to pick it up. And also I just, I've heard about this book like for years as well. Um, people usually really love it or hate it, so I'm intrigued to see what I think of it. Then I picked up Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters. Sarah Waters was one of the authors that I talked about in my Authors I Need to Read video. I will link to it if you haven't seen it. Um, this one is historical fiction, like a lot of uh, the ones she writes, I think, and it... Um, and it's about some queer characters, and that's like all I know, and that's all I want to know. But I'm really excited to get into this. Then I went to my usual bookstore, and I hadn't planned on buying anything, but obviously that didn't work. Um, I picked up Record of a Springs Bon Q by Becky Chambers. This one is the third book in the Weaver series by Becky Chambers and I just, I love that series so much. I've been planning on buying this book eventually, I just didn't want to too soon because as I said I have enough books. I have more than a hundred that I haven't read but I'm really really excited to get into this uh, soon. Uh, th this series is set in space and we follow different characters in all of the books. They're more like companion uh, stories than anything else, but uh, I still recommend you um, start with the first book in the series, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, if you want, because uh, it gives you more of an introduction to the world, which the other ones don't give you. So just be aware of that, but um, I'm really excited for this one. Next, I picked up the second book in the Dresden Files series and that is Full Moon by Jim Butcher. I really enjoyed the first one, Stormfront. I read it a few months ago. Um, I just, uh, they're really quick reads. They're like low fantasy. You have uh, this main character who solves crimes and also has other problems with kind of gods or something. I don't remember exactly. But it was, I remember it being really fun and a very quick read, so I'm looking forward to this. Then I picked up The Rohingyas by Azim Ibrahim. Um, I don't know much about this except that it's about a, gen a genocide. I picked this up because it's um, the girlfriend book club pick for May. Uh, the book club is run by Yeza Gunapoli with her girlfriend. I will link to the Girls Reads group and her channel down below if you're interested. But I really like uh, the, the picks they chose. They're like very diverse and they're usually books that I haven't heard about before and this is one of them. So uh, this is nonfiction obviously and I'll be very interested to see what it is about. Then I went to the used bookstore to browse and I saw, I saw these two books, The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon and Hackseed by uh, Margaret Atwood. So I've read 
a book by Margaret Atwood before The Handmaid's Tale, uh, the one that everyone talks about. I was kind of underwhelmed by it, though I thought it would be really good. Uh, but this one is a retelling of The Tempest by Shakespeare, apparently. I have never read any Shakespeare, though I've been wanting to maybe watch a few of the plays because I there are a lot of retellings and like this one I just I would rather read um, the you know the text it's inspired by before so maybe I will do that but I really want to read more Margaret Atwood there are a lot I'm interested in I just as I said I didn't want to buy them anymore uh, right now, but uh, I really want to read Elias Grace, it sounds great, and Oryx and Craig also, like so many, she, her body of work sounds so interesting, but I saw this one, so I just picked that up, I'm sure it's gonna be great, and I picked up The Winter People because I've heard many people talk about it, like I never... Uh, really kept in my mind what it was about and apparently it's horror so I'm actually actually really excited because I've been wanting to get more into horror lately um, I've really liked all the horror books I've read before I just don't tend to pick uh, horror books up much but um, this one sounds really great I've heard great things about it as we love these books so Hopefully, I will like it. But anyway, that is all for me. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed. And please tell me if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. Or if you picked up some books in the month of May. Because I would love to know. And I hope to see you soon in another video. Goodbye. Dream I know, deep up my feelings